Okay, we are ready now for our calculation report. Even though you are so good in selecting the luminaire and achieving the required lux value, you must also understand what is the report says, what it tells about, if it's really achieving the required uh, requirements or not. And how you prepare your documentation or calculation report affects the decision making of the client because sometimes clients are non-technical person and most of the time they prefer to see visuals rather than numbers. So let's go now and prepare our calculation report. So go to the documentation tab and now you have one, two, three, four tabs here that you need to play with. So go back to this project information cover first and then you will put your project name here and then the description of your um, report. Make sure you fill up everything so that the client will know what kind of calculation because some projects have different rooms, different buildings, so you need to be very precise on what kind of documentation you are presenting. So let's say this one is the indoor lighting calculation design. And then put another um, information at below, say manager's office. It says that the, 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 the room is for the manager's office. And you, then, then you will say that the project address is here in Dubai. Let's type Dubai, UAE. And then you can put the client's name here. You can say client. And then the company name, say 123. Sorry. Uh, ABC company and then the address also is here in Dubai and then you will say the telephone number is plus nine seven one zero zero one 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 or zero 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 and then the mobile number is also like this one this is just an example okay and then the fax number should be nine seven one as well okay an example Yep, and then the email will say at yahoo.com or at avc.com. Want to get avc.com, and then you need to uh, put your information here as a lighting designer or a contact person in case the client wants to know or who wants to ask questions. So at least he knows to whom he should talk to. So you can say your name is here. Say you are the designer. And your company name is MNO, for example. Address is Dubai, UAE as well. And your telephone is, let's say, same. Let's just make it an example. One, two, three. Yes, and the mobile number is just leave it like that, for example. Or let's make it six, 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 six. Fax will be. 7777 and the email is for example info at um, mno.com and you will save it to address book you say okay also your client to the address book so in case they have another project with you just select it here see now you will have for example I will select this client see this one or the designer see the change for example XYZ or I will check this one. So you have to make sure that the information of your clients are saved in your address book. So every, every time you want your client's name, it's easy to access and it's ready for you. So, okay, I will just say client and here I will say my name, for example. And then you, you fill up the information, the project information. So let's go back to this tab. And this is now your table of contents for your report. So there are lots of options here. Single room, luminar list. So whatever you want to just report to your client, just select which one. For now, I will just select the single room. Or if you like the all, it's also possible. If you select the all, everything will be included in your report. And it's very long report, which sometimes you don't need to show it. So let's just go back to the single room. Yes, and maybe if you want to add some information as well, like for example, you want to add the data sheet, 
just click this one and this one and for example you want to include uh, for example the false color just click this one yeah for the surface and then for the object you want to add this false color also and then okay so that's it so let's go you can select anything you want to include in your report here so press the edit again or if you want to create your own um, report you can create a template here so for now I just selected the default which is the single room so if you press the project cover it will show you your project cover see that the project name is here the type of the project the client's name your name address and the date today and you can add a picture on this cover for example you want to add these two pages two pictures click this one and then refresh now you have two pictures in your cover page if you add pictures in your cover page it will add attraction to your client they will think that you have a professional report so it's better for you to add sometimes you will add the original perspective view or the original um, image from the client or you can just add this one so table of contents if you click this one it will be generated once you uh, print it it cannot be shown right now and then the zoom table data sheet for example now it includes everything maybe you don't need to show this polar and linear diagram so go to this little uh, arrow here press it and check this information say apply globally and default so the other data sheet will be like look like this and then refresh so the information will be only like the picture the uh, specification text and then this polar so if you go to the other data sheet it will become just like that also because it's, it has been copied and then if you click this room summary you will find that um, picture all the information if you don't want to show this ISO lines go back to this page, uh, small tab again and uncheck the ISO lines and refresh if you don't want to show also the, the luminaires and the furniture you can also do that if you don't want to show this um, work plane you can also remove it if you like just uncheck okay it's not showing See the labels okay so whatever you don't want to show then just uncheck it okay all right so the summary will be look like this it includes the lux value the uh, lux value and the quantity of the luminaires inside and the lighting power density which is very necessary for lead certification and the height of the work plane the height of the room so this um, summary summary sheet will gives you all the information you need and if you see this is a dialux logo you can also change this one into your own logo so if you want to change this one go back to this project information cover I'm sorry this one oh sorry in the it's the second tab which is the print tab and then click this arrow here and then you can download your uh, logo here maybe you want to select some logo from your desktop or your company logo for example for example I will say um, this is my logo okay I will now you can see that the, the, the picture or the image is now there and then for example you want to add a footer or a header you can also that one let's say for example I will say footer like www.nroco lightingdesign.com then enter and now you will see that the footer text has this you see now here you have your website okay so uh, yeah you can also change the size of the paper if you want A3 you can also do that or the vertical or landscape if you want landscape you can just select this one or sorry this is A4 also um, okay the orientation is here landscape if you say apply it will become like this so it's a landscape paper view 
but the default one is always the por uh, portrait. So let's select the portrait for now. Okay, what else inside? Now you have your luminar layout plan. It shows the luminaires and also the spacing and the distance and the mounting height of the luminaires. You can see the uh, floor standing is in zero and those linear uh, recess luminaires are in 2.93 mounting height. It means it's in, in recess. And then if you want to add the views, you can also do that because we created a lot of views before so we, we can add it now here. You can check this one, this one, this one, this one. And if you want to add also the ray trace image that we created before, click this one and then include that ray trace and then refresh. And now you have a formal and beautiful calculation report to your client. Now you have collections of images now to your report. And then if you want to see this false color for every surfaces, you can also add it to one if you like. This one also. Okay, I think we need. Um, I think we need to. And uh, we don't need to un uh, include this one and this one. So let's edit this one. Let's not include the false color. Uh huh. And this one. Surface object. Let's just file, uh, select the false color from the working plane. This one. Let's remove it. Okay, what is the difference for the working plane? Working plane means the whole area rather than the false color of the table and the wall. So now you have your uh, selections of report. If you want to add more, you can just go to the edit and add other sheets or other pages. So after that, go to your print tab and then determine page count. Then it will generate all the pages. From first, now the, you can see now that the table of contents has uh, this um, information, and now all of these are now ready. And if once you reviewed it, you can now ready to save it. Now go and save as PDF. So I will say this is day one exercise. So I can label this one as managers office lighting design calculations and then save and then you will say open now so you want to review it so go and view page display to page view and now you will see that you will now have a gorgeous lighting design calculation report to your client okay so so I think we're done now for our first exercise and if you have more questions, you can just um, send me an email to nelka underscore roco at yahoo.com or nelka.roco at nrocolightingdesign.com or you can visit our website here for more videos and tutorials. Okay, so that's it for now and see you again for our next exercise.